picking and choosing from the book what is true. So if it's not monkeys in their eyes, which which it isn't, it's actually a ape or a common ancestor. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Then it's a talking snake. It, are you telling me these are the two things we got to go by? <laughs> Do you know what I'm saying? We, you know, we, we, we got a monkey. That's like, such a violation. That's why people don't like you in the religious That's country. what I'm saying. <laughs> so we got a monkey. We can't go by that, but we're going to go by a talking snake though. <laughs> you're, mock, you're mocking it. Yeah, you're right. Right. But as humans, we need to, we need to make things make sense. Yeah, that's the biggest thing. We need to make things. Make. Yeah, we do, we don't, because religion is a perfect example of things that don't make sense. No, but that, it, it's because there's some stuff that does make sense. Some of the stories, some of the stories, I think are so they're beautiful and necessary. Mm. But then there's other stuff where it's like this is clearly verifiable. Like we know better right now. Mm-mm-mm. Like every single year that we live on, there's parts of religion that's becoming eroded, and it yes. should do. Yes, yeah, yeah, yeah. And, yeah, yeah. and people refuse to accept the parts that yeah. are eroded yeah. because of fear. Yes. Mm. So it's fear like, of hell. So we sh- we should know better, but I, we don't. We, we yeah. choose to be ignorant. No, no, sometimes. no, no. But the choosing to be ignorant goes being. But if you choose to accept that, it invalidates your whole religion. Mm. And because my belief, can't. and I, I hear that, but I don't think there should be anything wrong with that. Believe in what you believe in, because for me, but then, but then, faith faith, but faith is the things that you can't explain. No, but but then you, yeah, I agree with you. That is what faith is. But then religion is also separate from faith. Yeah, so it's dogmatic. It's like if you now accept. That there's holes in it, then your religion can't be perfect. Whether that be Christianity, Judaism, Islam, when I'm talking about the three, the Holy Trinity, the Abrahamic faith, is like you can't accept that one of those things. So, for example, when my old pastor used to say that you cannot, as a Christian, believe in the theory of evolution and follow Christianity mm-hmm. because when we would have evolved for monkeys, and that goes against everything. Everything, yep, yep, yep. So it's just like I hear what you're saying from a rational standpoint, but you can't then then you're now picking and choosing from the book what is true. So if it's not monkeys in their eyes, which which it isn't, it's actually a ape or a common ancestor, yeah. then it's a talking snake. It, are you are telling me these are the two things we got to go by? <laughs> Do you know what I'm saying? We, you know, we, the we got a monkey. That's such a violation. That's why people don't like you in the religious That's country. what I'm saying. <laughs> so we got a monkey. We can't go by that, but we're going to go by a talking snake though. <laughs> you're, mock, you're mocking it. Yeah, right. what, these what, what, are what? the views held by... <laughs> <laughs> but, but that's, that, that's why people don't like me because I, I give them the option but that's yeah. the options that yeah, we yeah, got yeah, yeah, yeah. you've got it. the monkey or the talking snake which one? Oh uh, boy I'm going to have to go with the talking snake really? like the talking snake? yes even right, though you cool. know but in your head you're thinking what makes more sense clearly just using standard logic you're going to think cool but this is what scares me about religion bro mm. that someone would pick a snake talking a talking snake mm. over a, a, an ape yeah it, it's like Really? And the thing is, we the thing is, I may not know the, all the intricate details, mm-hmm. but I've been and seen gorillas, bro, and seen them. I've seen them jump up around, see them stand up, walk, blah blah blah. I've seen them take care of their children. I'm not saying that we are from them, but they look kind of humanish, though. Or they're behaving. <laughs> the behaving. The behaviors are kind of even kind of humanish, though. You, if you watch that new documentary, um, Chimp Empire. Oh, yes. These lot go to war. And yeah, stuff, they go they to war. Literally, yeah. Ride, yeah. They behave very much like humans. Humans. Yeah. 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 So. Again, if you're going based off what we know, because, okay, maybe back in the day, you might not have been able to in, to, to visualise apes behaving in that way. Because mm. where, where, where's the ability to monitor them like that? So yes. you could come up with a story yes. that seems pretty credible. Yes. Or maybe you just had an ayahuasca. Who knows? But <laughs> yeah, it's true. If we can observe these behaviours now, then your ideal should change. You just should. You just should. Like when I was in, when I was in, I was in Canada studying um, anthropology, mm. Um, and we looked at... You studied anthropology? Yeah, well, as part of my degree when I was in Canada. Nice, okay. So we was looking specifically at a, a, a community in the Congo that was, that, that, was, that, that was Muslim. Okay. And they were basically saying that through globalization, through globalization, societies can change and adapt. But the men in this community didn't want to, the women to listen to radios because what they were saying was that in order to get married, you have to have your... A woman had to have their clit cut off, so FGM. Oh, yeah. So... In order to get married, you have to have FGM. A lot of these women were dying. Yeah, from, they were from the dying. Thing. You're yeah, just cutting their clips yeah, off and they're yeah. bleeding out and bleeding dying. Out, yeah, yeah. So it, da- it now came out through the radio that, and Hadith was preaching that you no longer need to do this for marriage. This is not what the Quran says. So the women were hearing this and they were revolting against the men. Right. And then, but the men were like, no, we are going to stick to this because this is right. what we know. Right. So 
through the spread of globalization, these lot actually benefited, but through staying stuck to the old ways, the, the community almost destroyed each other. Mm. And this is, again, one of the problems with religion. Yeah. If people are able to understand in certain contexts that things are prone to change, mm. then why can't we do that through, across the whole thing? Mm -hmm. mm. Because at some point, the Hadiths interpreted that you had to commit FGM mm -hmm. for you to be um, eligible for marriage. Then mm. it changed. Mm. That that is that is the thing for us. So the more knowledge we acquire, yes, the more things should naturally change. That's right. Why, why are we so against that? But that's maturity, though, and we have to understand that, that human beings, a lot of human beings, are not mature. The mature person comes into a room and says, "Listen, this is a table and it's got four legs, right?" And then there's a person who says, "I'm going to show you that it's five, and they give you a convincing argument. They show you that it's five. You know what you do? Oh shit! No, it's five. My bad. That's what a mature person does." Mm. Um, another person says, no, 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 I've always known that it's four, so it's going to be four. But they can see the fifth leg now because it's been shown to them. Mm. When, when you get shown the fifth leg, why are you still arguing for four legs? Because you're not mature enough to take on new information and just say, you know what, I was wrong. But at the I same time, you have to throw in the caveat that this new information also means that your old information might land you in hell and eternal hellfire. Well, that's what we call cognitive dissonance, isn't it? Yes, so. That's what we call cognitive dissonance. So. Listen, I can talk about religion all day long, bro. I'm not even gonna <laughs> it's lie. interesting because there's different facets, different components. It's both what we understand, what's changing, and then how we are as individuals ourselves. Mm. I truly believe religion might not last another 100 years. For the I, basic I actually fact, believe this. I believe the same. For the simple fact of the quantum computer. So mm. the, the, the quantum computer essentially stores information on atoms and these atoms cross dimensions. So like they will be able to do massive calculations that we can never do before. Mm. So one of the scientists is that, that Japanese guy, um, I forget his name. He says there's a, there's a God equation. It's essentially the, the equation that um, is what makes the earth a quantum computer. So through photosynthesis, the earth, you know, the earth is a massive quantum computer based on these people. Oh, so if, if, if you can, if you so can- it's like a hard drive. Though. It's like a hard drive that stores information. So we just, so if you can find out what this God equation is, then you can do, you can basically find out anything. He's saying that with this information, you can stop the aging process by looking at the calculation and seeing at what point does the aging process start. Oh. And you could just take that out. Ooh. using this technology so don't give that power to human beings man but that's, no, that's part of the argument yeah, but yeah with this technology all this talk about religion and god and blah blah, blah it's simple calculation You're not void, so, so, so they're going to be void and there's, there's versions of it right now the only problem is that it requires so much energy and heat so they are trying to understand how does the earth create so much without releasing all this wasted energy so that's what the god equation apparently might be interesting so i don't i don't think religion is going to last once once that technology becomes readily available but then, what? But then, there will be a new religion. Probably there has to be that Probably. God equation will be the new religion. It'll be Godism. Yeah, it will be. At the, it will start worship, worship, worshiping idols and computers. Human beings need a lot of human beings need something to believe in. And it's probably good because otherwise, if you don't have anything, it will just be the book chaos. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> no, and, and that's and that, that's my only argument for why religion is necessary. But essentially, as human civilization transitions. We need new things to hold on to. Like we, sh we, this should be the foundation, and we should be excelling forward. We can't stay in this world of like. Well, uh, religions want to keep you back 1,400 years ago, hmm. and tell you that the same values of from 1,400 years ago or 3,000 years ago are the values that we should be holding today. It makes no sense. We, we live in 2023 right now. Hmm. You telling me that the things that we were doing 3,000 years ago or 1,400 years ago, we should be doing today? That doesn't to me. That doesn't make any sense. At the very least, we should acknowledge that. Do you know what I mean? That to me doesn't make any sense. That, the goals are different times. We, at yeah. the very least, acknowledge that. Yeah. Like what we was doing three thousand years ago is not what we're doing today. Like I'm not belling my boy and being like, "Yo, we." Do you know what I mean? Like, yeah. Simple things. I don't understand how a phone works, but I know that it's gonna connect. If I took this back three thousand years ago, mm. call me a freaking god. Of I mean, what five? five, you, five you get lynched and like to get flat on the. Put or maybe that they'll call me a witch and Tyson come my leg yeah, and drop me in the water. Do you know what I mean? Remember, five hundred years ago, it was. Normal to own a black person as a slave. Mm. 500 years ago. You right? grew up raised like that. Yeah, it was normal. Do you know what I'm saying? People say, oh, well, you know, we could apologize. Apologize for what, bro? It was normal to them, right? Yeah, people should apologize for it, but it was normal to them. You couldn't come to them and tell them that this was wrong. This is normality, bro. This is legal. This is what they do. And so we've now in 2023 said, actually, <laughs> let's look back 500 years. That was a bit crazy, guys. You know what I'm saying? That was a little bit mad. Mm. If you can't do that, if you look back 1,400 years and say everything that's from then should be done now, to me, you got something wrong with you. That's what I think you got something wrong with you because that means there's so many things that people were doing 1,400 years ago and 3,000 years ago 
that we would look on with disdain right now. And if you can't do that, it shows me that your brain can't move forward. Mm. But yeah, no, thank you so much. <laughs> <laughs> no problem. That was mad.